CM Kenyan, as Kenyans decry the latest increase in fuel prices, it appears you will now have to dig deeper into your pockets not just to buy fuel but also basic commodities such as vegetables and beverages. This as the Kenya Revenue Authority prepares for the adjustment of the rate of duty for inflation on the 1st of October this year. This adjustment is expected to impact the cost of all accessible goods and services but the full, but the full pinch of the fuel inflation is expected to come into focus when the Monetary Policy Committee meets later this month to review the benchmark interest rate. Abandoned cars and less busy highways. The ripple effect of Wednesday's increase in fuel prices by 7 shillings and 58 cents for petrol, 7 shillings and 94 cents for diesel, and 12 shillings and 97 cents for kerosene. <laughs> But Kenyans are set for tougher times ahead as the taxman prepares for adjustment of the rate of duty for inflation on October 1st. The Kenya Revenue Authority says the taxman would adjust the rate of excise duty using 4.97% as the average inflation rate covering the 2020-2021 financial year. However, according to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the rate of inflation climbed to 6.57% in August, with the statistics agency revising the July inflation up to 6.55% from 6.44% previously. This small change in inflation rate between the months of July and August has been attributed to the marginal increase in food and energy costs. For instance, the food and non-alcoholic beverages index rose by 0.46%, while housing, water, electricity and other fuels index jumped by 0.32%. Among the food commodities to have registered higher prices in the past month include spinach with a kilogram now selling at an average of 67 shillings from 65 shillings in August. However, the adjustment of the inflation rate is expected to impact the cost of all accessible goods and services which include fuel products, alcoholic beverages, food supplements, fruit juices, bottled water, tobacco products, and motor vehicle imports. But the ravaging effects of the fuel inflation will come into focus when the Monetary Policy Committee meets on the 28th of September to review the benchmark interest rate, which has been at 7% for over a year now. Super petrol is now retailing at 134 shillings and 72 cents per liter in Nairobi, while diesel is retailing at 115 shillings and 60 cents in Nairobi, and kerosene at 110 shillings and 82 cents in Nairobi. The prices are lowest in Mombasa, retailing at 132 shillings, 113 shillings, and 108 shillings for super petrol, diesel, and kerosene respectively. Most of these prices of petroleum products, the biggest proportion is actually taxes. Taxes and levies account for over 50% of the fuel prices in Kenya. Na kwa hivo, beya mafuta ikiogezeka, siyo beya mafuta imeogezeka, ni kodi abayo imeogezeka. There, there is no crisis in terms of the global oil prices. The global oil prices are the same as last month. It has been stable for the last like six months. But we have seen perpetually increment of the fuel prices. Every other time the ERC is adjusting the prices. This is the highest increase in the recent past with the regulator attributing the prices to an increase in the landing costs. Well, let's head over to the